Hey guys, how's it going? Got another programming jig. Uh, special thanks to iGlue Home Energy for investing in this one and investing in my last programmer as well. If you weren't able to check that one out, be sure to click here or check the description below. If you have a module that you think I should make a jig for, uh, send one my way and uh, I'll make it. I would love to get an ESP32. So this one was made for the same reason as the last programmer just so you don't have to solder on the pads you can just drop in a board take a board out I even incorporated a, a, an ejector in this one so that you won't have to be in there digging and what I'm showing you right here is the uh, mechanism that holds the pogo pins against the board and the way this works is you squeeze the sides after you put the board in and it pushes the pogo pins against it and then you push the bottom up and release the sides and that'll lock everything in place and this one's a whole lot more complicated than my last jig, so if you don't have patience, I wouldn't recommend this. <laughs> so this is how you get it. You get it in this awesome gold box. Uh, that little box has the um, has your pins in it. There they are right there. And be sure not to uh, misplace those because those things get lost pretty easy. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pop all the pieces out. So just imagine it being like a big puzzle. And just don't put too much force on the pieces because you can break them while pushing them out. And the little square that's right there isn't a piece that you need. I use that to uh, get the thickness of the acrylic and make sure it's not too thin or too thick because then everything won't go together right. <laughs> and peeling off the uh, paper is probably going to take you the longest <laughs> well, besides putting the pins in. And uh, now we're going to assemble it. So you can just follow along here or I also have... Um, a PDF that has more detailed instructions how to put everything together and uh, be sure to sand the pieces uh, you will be provided in your package a little piece of sandpaper that helps to um, make the pieces go in right because if you start shoving them in there you can crack them it's uh, acrylic not metal and that's what makes it more cost-effective for me and for you yeah so you're gonna put all the pieces together like I said it's just a big puzzle um, and uh, right here, you're going to use this pin that looks like a little t-shirt. This one has like a little nickel, and it didn't want to go in there. So just like I said, be sure to sand it down a little just to make it go. Even if it doesn't go all the way in like that, it, if it just goes in like through the acrylic, that's completely fine as long as it holds the pieces in. And be sure to uh, keep all the holes on the top of the board because those are the holes that the pins go through. And this piece is is probably going to need to be sanded because that piece fits in there pretty tight but um make sure that the 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 bottom piece the first piece that you put in is pulled all the way out or all the way down before you try to put these in because the little acrylic tabs will snap off if you don't do this right and you don't want that you know <laughs> but uh, okay yeah see so that's how it's inserted and then like i said keep all the holes on the top and uh, when you're putting the pins in, just if you have to pull the little the little slides out to put the pins in the holes and then put the slides back in, that, that works as well. And the piece you're looking at here is the uh, piece that holds the pins from popping out of the back. And like I said, make sure this piece gets sanded if it doesn't go in because that piece will crack the, uh, the other piece or it'll snap the back off. And the way you're going to put it on the other side is the exact same way that you put this way. What the fuck? Because <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> now, but yeah, you put the other side um, exact same way. Just make sure you pull the tab all the way down. Because if not, you'll, like I said, you'll crack it. So send it down and then it'll go right in. And just have patience with it. I mean, it's not a rush. And this is what it looks like when they're both sides are in and the bottom and uh, now after this you're gonna put in the top piece the piece that has like two little pointy parts um, well, I mean that doesn't help but uh, if you look at the PDF you understand what I'm saying and then those two parts are gonna hold the lever that pops the board out so to put those in we're gonna use this little wishbone looking thing that slides down in them so look right here it's gonna look something like that before you push it in it needs to go all the way down once it's all the way down, we're going to use the other little, um, they look like little L's with like little ridges on them. You put them in with the same facing ridges together. And after you put them both in, you're just going to push 
you're gonna, I mean, you could put them at the edge of a counter like this and then push down. Just be careful with those. If those don't go all the way in, they're still not gonna let go. So it, it'll be fine if, if they're sticking out a little. They, they're just there to hold the, uh, the ejector on like this. So see that you push it and the board pops up so you don't have to be in there or you don't have to flip it over or shit like that. And I'm not gonna show the whole process of putting the pins in because that should be self-explanatory, but they'll look like this whenever you're done with them. And um, you could try a board in there now. So you squeeze the sides, push in the bottom and let the sides go and it'll lock in. So look right here when I flip over the board, you see how, it, how the locking mechanism actually works. See, so that once it's locked in there, those pins aren't going to come off that board so if you had the wires soldered already to it then it's fine and be careful if you're going to solder while they're in there because it will melt the acrylic the acrylic doesn't take much to melt and that's it you're done you can start programming a bunch of boards just swapping them in and out and uh thanks for watching if you liked the video or the idea be sure to subscribe give the video a like and be sure to purchase yours on lasergoods.co thanks again